Hey Church, I just wanted to check in with you at the beginning of what is about to be a very different Easter week. I got to tell you, my heart is a little conflicted this year regarding Easter. I mean, for me, Easter is without doubt just my favorite time of the year. Uh, yeah, that Good Friday service and Easter Sunday celebrating the death and then the resurrection of Jesus. However, I have come to realize that this year, although we won't be able to do that in physical proximity with each other, that God is really going to do something special uh, in our community as we gather together on Friday and Sunday. Uh, I've really come to realize over this lockdown period something that I suppose is quite obvious, and that is that our sense of connectedness as Christians and even as members of one particular body of Christ, Rosebank Union Church, is not restricted by being in physical proximity with one another. And that's, I mean, that's kind of obvious because we are connected by the Holy Spirit who's at work within me and in you and connecting us all together, which is why uh, the Apostle Paul could even write things like this in Colossians 2 verse 5. He would say, for although I am absent from you in body, I am present with you in spirit, rejoicing, he says, which gives me a lot of hope about Easter, that although we are going to be absent from each other, that in a way we will be present and that in a way is really quite a deep way. I mean, Paul's speaking, he's not speaking about some weird disembodied state. He's speaking about this deep spiritual connection where he could even feel like he was rejoicing with them as we are going to rejoice together on Easter Sunday. However, as encouraging as that is to me about our being very connected this Easter, it doesn't take away the longing that we will all still experience, that I at least do experience, the longing to be together, and worshipping together, celebrating together uh, one day, which is why Paul would write in First Thessalonians, he would say this in chapter 2, verse 17, but when we were separated from you, brothers and sisters, for a short time, so we were separated like now, locked down, but he adds this in, in, in my translation in brackets, so interesting, he adds separated in presence, not in affection, he says, saying, yeah, we were separated physically, and that affected our physical presence, but not our affection. In other words, he's describing that affection is increasing, and I hope that God is doing that with us as a church. But he goes on to say, but we became all the more fervent in our desire to see you in person. And I guess that's what I'm experiencing, is this sense of closeness and affection and a sense of anticipation regarding Easter, but knowing that um, that we are going to experience something unique in our connectedness. So we have just, I think, two amazing uh, Easter services planned for you. So Good Friday and Easter Sunday. The church at home services will happen as usual on the usual platform on our Lift the Sale page. So you, you just need to go there. However, there is just one thing different that we're wanting to do for Good Friday and Easter Sunday. And that is to try and all kind of meet together at around about the same time. So we're saying, hey, if you can, meet, let's meet together 10 o'clock on Good Friday 10 o'clock on Easter Sunday. Let's log into the platform there and participate together, church, at that time. Uh, by the way, at Good Friday, you have extra motivation to do that because on Good Friday at half past 11, we will be doing a live communion service. So that's going to be something like our Facebook live prayer meetings where it'll be definitely live and we'll be able to interact with each other in some way as we partake in communion together. I think that's going to be really special. That's happening at half past 11. So the idea is we do church together from 10 o'clock. There'll be a bit of a break to get ready for communion and then we'll do communion at half past 11. Uh, Easter Sunday, we'll flip that around, but we'll tell you a little bit more about that in the days to come. Just to say this, I have to say this, Easter Sunday, there is something really special that's going to take place in the service. We'll be a little different from our usual church at home Sunday services. So all that to say, I am really looking forward to Easter this year. I'm looking forward to God doing something really unique uh, in us as we gather together in this strange way the same time still longing to be together in worship with you one day hopefully soon but look forward to seeing you good friday and easter sunday